What's going on guys? Constable Chain back at it with another video. Today, we haven't done this in a while, a Madden 16 rebuild. Today's going to be the Cleveland Browns. They definitely need uh, definitely need some work uh, on their team, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's take a quick look at their roster. Alright guys, here we are at uh, Cleveland Browns roster here. I do have a different uh, roster update with uh, some rookies from uh, this past draft, so... Uh, I think I used it in a couple previous videos. So let's take a quick look here at the quarterback. We got RG3, we got Austin Davis, Josh McCowan, and Cody Kessler. Pretty bad. Running backs, pretty bad. We just got Duke Johnson. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, fullbacks, Josh Gordon, wide out. And then you got the rookie, Corey Coleman, at wide out. And then after that, it drops off. Tight end, you got uh, Gary Barnage. He's uh, best offensive threat by far. Joe Thomas anchoring that offensive line at the left tackle, 99 overall. Joel Batoni, 85. He's good and he's only 23 years old. And then Cameron Irving, 74. Uh, John Greco, 80. And then right tackle's not that great. Desmond Bryant's an 84 left end. Randy Starks, 83 right end. So some older defensive lineman then you got uh, Danny Sheldon who was a rookie last year uh, 79 overall 22 years old so that's good uh, Mingo left outside linebacker 81 overall that's decent Davis uh, 81 linebacker that's decent and uh, Scooby Wright the third 77 overall rookie it's pretty good pretty pretty badass name if I do say so myself right outside linebacker you got Kruger uh, corner, obviously Joe Hay Joe Hayden, uh, Tremont Williams. That is, and uh, Chase Casey, 66 overall. So definitely uh, the safety positions need to get looked at. Uh, Travis Coons, kicker, 77. Andy Lee, punter, 85. So definitely um, nothing's really terrible, I would say, but nothing's really good either. Well, I guess yes, a lot, quite a bit of positions are pretty terrible, but. We'll uh, try to upgrade them uh, through trades and through free agency, so uh, let's uh, jump right to my first trade. Alright guys, we pick it up here at my first trade. Uh, just on the trade block, that's usually where I start off. Uh, they're the easiest trades to make, so I traded for quarterback Sam Bradford, traded uh, Tremont Williams on the 7th round pick. Uh, looking at my roster, I only have two guys over 90 overall, so this roster is uh, pretty bad. Uh, so I basically need uh, players from uh, every single position on the team, so this might take a while. Picking up here at my second trade, I traded for uh, Luke Wilson, tight end, uh, just a good old Canadian kid. Uh, traded a middle linebacker and a 7th round pick. My next pick is for safety, Sean Williams. Definitely definitely needed to upgrade my uh, safety positions. Uh, traded a 69 overall free safety and a 6th round pick. Able to pick up a right tackle with Phil Load, Phil Load, Load Holt. Holy mackerel! Um, I think he's actually retired now, but he's 85 overall. He's uh, pretty old, but I traded Leon Hall, who I got from uh, free agency, and a third round pick. Got a deal coming at you. I just traded uh, my best, my best player in the secondary, in uh, Joe Hayden, a second and a first round pick, and in exchange I get Julio Jones. I really don't really have a weapon on offense uh, until now I got uh, one of the best receivers in the game so uh, I think that's going to be it for the trades I'll uh, do my depth chart and I'll show you guys the final resu result got one trade for you guys uh, before I do that I uh, decided uh, since I got Luke Wilson uh, just traded away uh, Gary Barnage uh, fourth uh, two fourths actually for uh, veteran Jonathan Joseph I really needed a corner I just didn't want to sim this year with the corners I had, and I'll show you in a sec why I did this trade, because my uh, corners that I had left were just terrible, so I'll uh, show you guys that in uh, just a sec here. Alright guys, I am uh, done with uh, trades and free agency. Um, pretty confident with what my offense is going to do, not too sure about my defense yet. Take a look of uh, what I got here. Uh, picked up Fitz Fitzpatrick from free agency. Uh, traded for Bradford, and then I kept Davis and Kessler. Going to run four quarterbacks. Usually I only keep three, but uh, Davis and Kessler, uh, uh, two young guys. Running backs stayed the same. Duke Johnson, uh, Isaiah Crowell. 
nothing really too flashy there. Picked up John Kuhn at free agency. Uh, traded for Julio Jones, big upgrade. Going to have Josh Gordon, so two big wide receivers on the outside. And then Col Coleman in the slot. Hartline, Hawkins, uh, Gabriel. Tight ends, we got the vet Scott Chandler just picked up from free agency. And I traded for Luke Wilson. O-line, we got uh, Joe Thomas, left tackle, uh, Batoni, uh, left guard. That's good. Uh, looks like I actually need to pick up a center. I got uh, Irvin there is by himself. Uh, picked up Asamoah from free agency. Traded for Phil Lodeholt. Uh, left end stay the same. Right end stay the same. Uh, defensive tackles, I just picked up Terrence Cody. So the D-line, I would say it's average. Uh, my linebackers are... Stayed the same too. They're average with Mingo there, Davis, uh, Scooby Wright, Paul Kruger. I'd say that's uh, average as well. Uh, if I didn't do that Jonathan Joseph deal after I traded away Hayden, I'd be stuck with Denard, Finnegan, Jennings, um, and then just downhill from there. So really wanted a corner. It's good to have a vet out there. He's 90 overall still. Still uh, got a lot of gas left in the tank, so uh, that's good. I uh, picked up Raheem Moore from free agencies, 81 overall. Definitely needed to upgrade my uh, safety position, so I did slightly. Also traded for Sean Williams, who's uh, 80. Kicker and punter stay the same. So I'm just going to sign that punter, set my depth chart, um, sim to midseason, and we'll see how we do there. As we're at the halfway point of the season, uh, as you can see by the record, we're 4-4, four and four, which is uh, actually better than I expected. Take a look at some, uh, let's take a look at injuries first, uh, see if anyone's out for long term. Uh, broken ribs, one week, Hawkins, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at some numbers here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Fitzpatrick, 1300 yards, 6 touchdowns, 7 picks, not really that great. It looks like he got banged up, Bradford played a little bit. Isaiah Crowell, uh, my running back. I started Duke Johnson. I guess he's hurt. Excuse me, hurt. Um, receiving, Josh Gordon, Coleman. Where's Julio? Oh, he must have got hurt like game one. Uh, see who's letting up the sacks here. Load Holt is. That's all right. That's not really that much sacks he's let up. Defense, you got the two middle linebackers playing in the middle of that 3-4 defense. Uh, Coons, 81%. That's not really that great. He might be hitting the road after the end of this year. One kick return for a touchdown and no punt return for a touchdown. So let's uh, continue on to see if we make it to the playoffs here. All right, guys, we're in the playoffs. Uh, season goal missed, so that means we didn't make the playoffs. Um, let's take a look at our record here. Finished seven and nine. That's actually uh, pretty good for the first year, considering uh, what I had to work with. Uh, take a look at some stats. Year-ending stats. Um, Fitzpatrick really didn't have a great year. Thirty-one hundred yards, sixteen touchdowns, fifteen picks. Take a look at the time sacked. Uh, in total, thirty-five times my quarterback's been sacked. So that's probably as high as I'd like that number to go. Crowell receiving. Josh Gordon led the way. 863 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, there was uh, Luke Wilson I picked up there. Um, rookie Corey Coleman had uh, almost 503 touchdowns. Julio Jones was hurt for the first part of the season, so his second half he had 540 yards and four touchdowns. Blocking. Take a look here. Phil Lodeholt, my right tackle, uh, led up the most sacks with 12. Uh, defense. Demario Davis led the way with 143 tackles. Uh, quarterback sacks with Paul Kruger with 11 and a half. Interceptions, Raheem Moore and Chance Casey with three apiece. Uh, forced fumbles, uh, Sean Williams and Scooby Wright also tied with three. Take a look at kicking here. Uh, Travis Coons was 21 of 25 for 84 percent. That's all right. Uh, Taylor Gabriel, one kick return for a touchdown, and nobody had a punt return for a touchdown. So let's uh, skip ahead to the re-signing and the free agency phase. Yeah, we're here just before the draft. I uh, re-signed my players. Uh, signs of free agency. We'll just uh, go over that quick here. My signings. I uh, got a new kicker in McManus. Uh, Coons, uh, I feel, really uh, could have did better. So I got uh, 
one of the best legs in the league. Uh, also got a better running back with C.J. Anderson. I might try to trade him uh, next year. We'll see. Um, Donald Penn left tackle. Seems like I always get him in every uh, rebuild league. He's an excellent pass blocker. Uh, the veteran Frank the Tank Gore, can't go wrong with him. Uh, Antonio Cromartie, definitely needed uh, more corners. Uh, even though the corners I have are uh, c getting up there in age. Uh, also got Akeem Ayers, right outside linebacker. Brandon Merriweather, safety. And Eric Winston, right tackle. So let's uh, start the draft. I'll just show you at the end who I drafted. All right, guys, here's my uh, rookie signing uh, recap after the draft. Uh, first round, I went after uh, Nash Revis, uh, quarterback, 78 overall. Got him with the 14th overall pick. Uh, he's six foot three. He's got good size. His throw power is a 98, which is good. Accuracy is uh, pretty good. Deep accuracy, not that great, but uh, you could always uh, upgrade that. Uh, it's the throw power that's expensive to upgrade, so I, I look to have high throw power, and then uh, you could always work on the accuracy after. Center in the third round, 71 overall. Halfback in the fifth round, 76 overall. And a 67 overall fullback in the sixth round. So I'll uh, pick up uh, in the preseason while we'll try to make some more deals. Pick it up here in year two in the preseason. Made my first trade of year two. Uh, got Eric Decker, 91 overall. Traded uh, uh, Davis, middle linebacker, a third and a fourth. I uh, want to get as much weapons as I can on offense because I think I'm going to start the rookie quarterback so I want him to uh, have as much weapons as possible I uh, might try to trade for one more wideout we'll see here but I uh, also want to get one more corner and then I think we're good to go after I said I needed another weapon I go out get AJ Green 97 overall uh, paid a big price though uh, traded away Thomas 99 overall left tackle uh, and the second round pick, I got uh, other uh, pretty decent offensive tackles that could step up and play that position. So uh, still a big loss, but uh, not that big of a loss. And uh, pick up one of the best receivers in the league. So now uh, let's try to get a, another good cornerback. You guys, got my cornerback, uh, Verrett. Uh, again, it came at a price. Traded CJ Anderson. I wanted to trade Anderson away. I'm not a really big, big fan of his. Uh, even though he is 87 overall. Uh, also traded a first and a second round pick. I hope I make the playoffs this year because I really don't think I have any draft picks left. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this year works out. Uh, I will set my depth chart and we'll find out here. Alright guys, uh, got my finished product here before I start simming uh, year two with the Browns. Take a look. Uh, Bradford, Patrick, and uh, I'm going to be starting this Revis guy. Uh, Rookie out of UCLA. Uh, running backs, I got Frank Gore, Crowell, and Johnson. Fullback, I got a rookie. Wide receivers, this is where it gets nice. Uh, AJ Green, Julio Jones, Eric Decker, Josh Gordon, Coleman, Brian Hartline. I'd say that's pretty stacked. Hope my rookie could uh, get the ball to those playmakers. Also got Luke Wilson at tight end. The vet, Scott Chandler, backing him up. Left tackle, Donald Penn. Uh, left guard, uh, Batoni. Uh, drafted this guy, Evan Scott, as a center. Changed him to a left guard, and he's 84 overall. If you want to know how to do that, I have a uh, video I did before on a little uh, tip uh, for when drafting. That'll uh, show you that. Uh, De La Puente at center. John Asimov, right guard. Uh, Sean Coleman, a right tackle. Desmond Bryant, left end. I picked up Ray McDonald at right end. Uh, Danny Sheldon's going to be starting at my nose tackle. Mingo, left outside linebacker. Uh, this Ogba guy was a defensive end, but I changed him to uh, outside linebacker. He fits uh, my scheme better. Uh, Scooby Wright's going to be starting. He was a rookie last year, and uh, Kiersey's going to back him up. Paul Kruger also picked up uh, Key Maris from uh, Free Agency in the offseason. Traded for Jason Verrett. Jonathan Joseph, definitely think my corners uh, got better. Uh, Raheem Moore and Williams are going to be my safeties. Uh, McManus I got in free agency, and Andy Lee is going to be my punters. All right, guys, here we are. Playoffs, uh, second year with the Cleveland Browns. Looks like we're in the wild card. Made the playoffs, that's good. Um, I knew our team was uh, definitely on paper a playoff team, so let's take a look at some stats here. 
what went on throughout the year. The rookie looks like he was hurt. Uh, just shy of 1,800 yards, 12 touchdowns, 5 picks. Then Pitch- Fitzpatrick came in, uh, played pretty good. Uh, take a look at uh, where sacks. Time sacked, uh, 38 combined. That's uh, all right, I guess. Rushing, uh, Frank Gore, the vet, almost had 1,000. Crowell, uh, 342 yards, 5 touchdowns. Uh, Gore also had 8 rushing touchdowns, which is pretty good. Receiving, A.J. Green, 1,285 yards, 9 touchdowns. Uh, Julio Jones was just shy of 1,000 and, and with 5 touchdowns. Eric Decker, 821 yards, 8 touchdowns. Luke Wilson, 611 yards, 2 touchdowns. Check the defensive side of the ball. It looks like uh, my safety, Sean Williams, had uh, 129 tackles, which led my team. Uh, quarterback sacks. Uh, Kruger had 11 and a half sacks again, led my team. Interceptions. Uh, Scooby Wright and Antonio Cromarty uh, were tied for three. Uh, let's take a look at some forced fumbles here. Uh, there's a couple guys uh, tied with two, which is pretty sweet. Kicking, see if McManus, uh, oh yeah, he had a great year. That was a good pickup for me. He was 100% kicking, 29 for 29. Punting, 46.6 yards average. Uh, I guess that's good. I'm not too sure. No kick return for a touchdown, but we had two punt returns for a touchdown by Corey Coleman. It's my phone going off there. Take a look at some injuries uh, heading into uh, the playoffs. Hopefully, uh... None of my big guys are going to be out. Uh, I like to uh, go by, go all the way. Uh, Desmond Bryant, nine weeks. That's all right. Uh, just auto-progress my guys, and we'll get this show on the road here. Uh, ba -bum -bum. Okay, let's sim it to next week. All right, guys, look like uh, we lost in the wild card against the Jacksonville Jaguars, which is all right. Um, going to end uh, this franchise here. I... Uh, Usually do two years, and if, if I make the playoffs, uh, that's it. I'd say I uh, rebuilt this team pretty good, as you can see by their uh, depth chart outline here. Um, team's pretty good. Defense of the side of the ball definitely needs uh, some more work on the D-line and my linebackers, but uh, still uh, had a pretty decent year in year two, and I'm satisfied on what I did. So... Uh, I'd say I rebuilt the Cleveland Browns. So I'm going to end uh, this video here. Um, definitely not going to get um, all the teams done before Madden 17 gets out. Because um, I just started YouTube like last month. Uh, so uh, going into Madden 17, I'm not going to be rebuilding every team. Because obviously some teams are, are better than others. So teams that are probably in like the 70 overalls I'll just be doing um, because uh, they obviously need rebuilding uh, so I'll be probably be doing Cleveland next year as well so uh, just uh, looking ahead uh, in the future a little bit so uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe maybe comment on other teams you want me to do quick before Madden 17 comes out or to do while uh, Madden 17 is comes out so uh thanks for watching guys um and we'll see you uh in another video